Judge Day has completed his placing in the four-year-old Brown Swiss class. We'd like to recognize our junior awards at this time, if they could please step forward. Second junior, and also the Junior Production Award winner, goes to entry 2051, Hilltop Acres V Divinity, exhibited by Tanner Mashek of Kalmar, Iowa. At two years and one month of age, with a 305 day record, she produced 24,281 pounds, with a 4-1 fat, 1,013 pounds, a 3-6 pro protein, and 884 pounds of protein. Placing first junior is entry 2064, Volker's Love Remo, exhibited by Dane Volker of Perryville, Missouri. And your production award winner in the class goes to entry 2072, Reinerson Aaron Rachel, exhibited by Jessica Mankey of Watertown, Wisconsin. At four years and one month of age and a 305 day record, she produced 37,584 pounds of milk with a 4.5 fat, 1,715 pounds, with a 3.3 protein and 1,269 pounds. Third place honors in the class go to Valley Grove Jolt Nilly Merle, exhibited by Victoria Calloway of Judah, Wisconsin. Second place goes to Frosted Sea Guammy ET, exhibited by Fairdale Farms, Ben Sparrow of Owenton, Kentucky. And your winning entry, the best bred and owned and best under the class, is Dan Moore Frazier Sidra, exhibited by Chris Baginski of Othello, Washington. Congratulations. Judge Day, your comments. Beautiful class of four-year-old cows here, but this dark-colored cow, fresh, 28 days, puts it all together. Just a lovely high, wide rear udder, four udder that's just welded on there. She's had three calves. She's dairy, she's clean, she's angular, and has those advantages over the cow in second. The cow in second, fresh, 14 months, uh, not quite as clean, not quite as dairy, but still very sharp, but that lovely high wide rear udder that she displays today. The first cow is probably a little uh, more level on the floor of the udder than is our cow in second. The second cow just extremely well balanced, stronger loin, neater tail head, uh, higher and fuller at the top of the rear udder than this big massive frame cow we have here in third. A cow that just has tremendous capacity, tremendous openness and depth of both fore and rear rib. Uh, followed by a cow that's very similar in pattern. Uh, not quite as level here again on the floor of the udder, but certainly you love the overall length and stretch that she does possess. She has an advantage over the next cow in that depth of fore and rear rib. Uh, here again, two cows with lovely uphill runs, just uh, much deeper in the rear flank than is this cow. This cow, just beautiful across her top, not quite as snug in her forehead or attachment as we see her today, but has the size, scale, stretch, and capacity to go over one of the smoother, well-balanced cows we have in the class. A lovely, beautiful rear udder, but just not quite enough cow to move up the line. <laughs> 